What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our schedule preview projected record series. Texas Tech up next. Let's take a look back at that 2023 schedule for this team. Uh, they finished with a 7-6 record, 6-6 six six in the regular season. Of course, that Wyoming game, still you look back at that one. That was a, a pretty big shocker early in the season, week one of the season. Uh, the Oregon obviously is a tough game. West Virginia turned out to be a good team. Kansas State. BYU, Texas, you look at who they lost to here. They did not play uh, Oklahoma last season. Uh, but overall, you know, a, a solid season. Maybe not quite what they'd expected. Um, the schedule may be a little bit easier this year. Definitely in the non-conference. They don't have to deal with Oregon. Uh, this is that 2024 schedule. Non-conference, it's Abilene Christian, Washington State. That game is on the road, so that won't be easy. And then North Texas. You look at the home schedule. Again, those two non-conference games. Arizona State, Cincinnati, Baylor, Colorado and West Virginia. Look, this team's got a real shot to go undefeated at home. Uh, West Virginia probably going to be their toughest game, but they should be favored against Cincinnati and Baylor, Arizona State, uh, maybe even Colorado as well. Uh, so you really like the home schedule here. Again, it gives them a chance to have a really solid season and maybe a, a great season if they can win some games on the road. Here's the road schedule. Again, Washington State, Arizona, that'll be tough. TCU, uh, pretty tough, but winnable. Iowa State, kind of the same. And then Oklahoma State. So Arizona and Oklahoma State, probably going to be their two toughest games. Let's say they lose those two games and they beat everyone else. You know, that's a 10-2 and two season. So you can see the schedule sets up pretty well for the Red Raiders. Uh, they play, again, Abilene Christian week one. Then week two, September 7th on the road at Washington State. North Texas on the 14th. Then back home for Arizona State on September 21st and Cincinnati on September 28th. Then they go on the road to play Arizona on October 5th, and they get their first bye week. So they're going to play six games before their first bye week. They get that bye week before playing Baylor at home, and then it's on the road at TCU, on the road at Iowa State. So back-to-back -back road games there before another bye week. Um, actually, no, they'll play Colorado. Then they get another bye week. Uh, they get another bye week there very late in the season. Then they play at Oklahoma State and West Virginia. A tough way to close out the season. Two really good teams in the Big 12. Uh, so that's going to be tough. Again, TCU, Iowa State, back-to-back. -back, that's pretty tough. Uh, the bye week's coming kind of late. Makes it fairly tough. You, you know, you have one after Arizona. You'd like to have that one before Arizona, maybe. Um, so the way the game's set up, it's not great. But overall, again, the schedule is pretty favorable. Non-conference is not bad. They don't play Kansas State. Um... There are some other teams, I'm blanking on the top teams of the Big 12 right now, but um, yeah, they don't play Kansas State, and they don't play Utah, so Utah is another team. They don't play Kansas State, don't play Utah, and uh, so it's it's not bad, but again, the way the game's set up, it's going to be tough because, again, back-to-back -back road games, late bye weeks, and then that, that final stretch, those final two games, Oklahoma State and West Virginia, uh, this team could be sitting there, you know, having a really good season, and then you lose those two games at the end, and obviously that's going to kind of ruin things so let's get to the projections these are the projections from last season they were six and six in the regular season our projection had them at seven and five i predicted them to go eight and four athlon had them at seven and five and the over under was at seven and a half i was actually surprised that these numbers were all as low as they were i just you know looking back at last off season i was thinking that texas tech was was being hyped up as maybe a, a team that can win the big 12 maybe i'm remembering that wrong um you know oregon the non-conference obviously made the, t the schedule a lot tougher but um, they were still below expectations. Even the seven and fives here, eight and four, you know, they were below that. Again, going just six and six. So it was a disappointing season. But let's see what the projections look like this year. Here's our scale. If it's under 20 or over 80, those are games that are pretty much guaranteed wins or losses. 20 to 29, 71 to 80 games where teams should be favored by, you know, at least a couple of touchdowns. 30 to 39, 61 to 70 games where I think the spread's going to be closer to a touchdown and then your 50 50 games but again it's not really about the spread i have a tier system that i used to do this i put all the teams in different tiers based off of how they finished last year and then looking ahead uh, to a certain extent uh, not trying to predict things but just looking at okay this team lost a lot this team returns a lot whatever so let's get into the easy wins that's abilene christian you got one of those uh, they should take care of business in that i think everyone would agree there i got north texas in the blue probably favored by 16 17 points in this one so it's close to being in the green uh, but i was going to say if we put that game in the green it would not change the projected record so it really doesn't matter but uh yeah we put that game in the blue i think it's it's one that you look this team lost to wyoming so they could lose to north texas this year but they should be favored by at least two touchdowns and then you've got cincinnati so i've got cincinnati's actually uh they're in the very bottom tier of the big 12 they're the only team in that tier 
And so you get them at home, Texas Tech, a tier above them. I'm going to put that one in the purple. Again, I think Texas Tech's favored by seven or eight points. And then you've got a couple of games where I think they're going to be underdogs. Arizona and Oklahoma State, both of those games on the road. Teams that should be better than Texas Tech, should be in a tier above Texas Tech. And again, that is why those games are in the yellow here. I think they'll be about a touchdown underdog. But you look at the rest of the schedule, it's a bunch of 50-50 games, which is really the case with a lot of teams because there, there's not... And there's a lot of parity in college football. You look at Washington State, I think Texas Tech's a better team, but they play that game on the road. Uh, they get Arizona State at home, I think Texas Tech. And, you know, that's one that's close to the purple. That's that's a game that's very close to being in the purple. Same with Baylor. TCU on the road, closer really to a 50-50 game. Iowa State, I would favor Iowa State in that game, but uh, not by a ton. Colorado's, a, I think, a true 50-50 game. And I'd probably favor West Virginia, but it is at Texas Tech. And again, uh because we have West Virginia in a tier above Texas Tech, but the game is at Texas Tech. That's what makes that a 50-50 game instead of a game in the yellow. So two games where they'll be underdogs, three games where I think they'll be pretty clear favorites, and then you got a bunch of games that could go either way. And win those games, you could have a really good season. Lose those games, it could be a very disappointing season. But the projection is 7-5. and five. So a 7-5 and five projected record. I think the exact number is like 6.6. So they were close to being six and six, but again, it does come out. We round that up to seven and five, and uh, what should be, you know, that would be a, a pretty solid season for Texas Tech. But again, the schedule gives them a chance uh, to to maybe even do better than that. But it also gives them a chance to do worse than that, just because you have so many games that can go either way. But that's our early projection on Texas Tech. Not a prediction, of course. Those will come later. But we'd love to get your thoughts on this team, your projections. Let me know what you think about Texas Tech down in the comments below.